So the fishing's been a bit slow, so we're going to uh, have a look for some Ollie Croc. They're normally in these little cracks and crevices here. Yeah? Yep, there's one there. There's another one over there. Gotta watch out for the sea urchins. So you allowed five of these Ollie Croc, or Ollie Crackle, whatever you call them. I've known them as Ollie Croc, English version, and then uh, Ali Krik or Ali Krik, so Afrikaans. This is, uh, here's another one here in this little crevice here. You just gotta watch out, there's quite a few sea urchins in the, in the holes. What I'm gonna do is just have a look and see if I can find a few and just choose the biggest ones. Because there's uh, not too much meat on them. So you gotta make sure you get ones that are quite a decent size. You can see the tide's coming in now. I've got to just watch out. It comes in pretty quickly. It's low tide. It's just after 8 in the morning. Oh, there's a giant down at the bottom there. You can actually, uh, you can very often miss them because they're so camouflaged. And this is a, a beaut. Absolute giant. Look at the size of that. Section. Dogs seem like they find a couple of Something, yeah. No, here's a nice one. There, you can hardly see. See by all the camouflage on the on the Ollie Kirkle, that you can quite easily miss them. So let's have a look. You can see the size differences. Some nice, biggish ones. Yeah, there's a that's a smaller one, and here's another smaller one. So I'm going to put these two small ones back. You must always just make sure to make sure that they're upright when you put them back, and put them somewhere where. They'd have their natural habitat. They can move just in a nice little dark spot there. We've got five nice ones there. And uh, I might have one or two throws before we leave and see if I can get something. So we'll catch up with you in the kitchen. Fishing was very slow, so we decided to get some Ollie Crocs. I've got them in some boiling water here. You probably want them in about 10 minutes. Get them into some cold water and we're gonna pick them out. I'm gonna show you how to pick them out. I've got some linguine, I've got some tin tomatoes, I've got some red onion, some carrots, some white onion, garlic, a bit of rosemary for the tomato sauce, and a bit of coriander, and some lemon. So I'm just going to show you quickly how to clean these. We're going to take them out. Just need to have a look. Once this little shell comes loose, you know that they cook through. I'm going to leave them in the water for about 10 minutes once they've uh, the pot's pulled up again, and this will help cool them down. Okay, so you just want to get a society stick, and they just pop out like that. Once you've got uh, them cooked like this, you just remove the little cap that closes them. Get your finger in. You want to remove the guts and keep that in. So you're just going to just pops off very easy. There's not much flesh left, but they are very, very rich. You only need a little bit just to give that nice seafood flavor to your pasta. And you just need to chop them up now into nice little bite-sized pieces. We're just gonna add some oil to the pan. So we're gonna go in with some onions. I'm gonna go in with honey crop, some garlic. I'm gonna do a little bit of Rosemary, just right at the beginning. Rosemary is a hard herb, so you can you can use it in the beginning. Herbs are normally used right at the end of cooking. This will bring out some nice flavor into, into the dish. I'm gonna put a bit of black pepper. Black pepper always works. You want about a tablespoon of salt. Seems a lot, but it takes quite a lot to season it because we're going to be going into the noodles. The noodles take up a lot of that flavor and uh, they they don't have much seasoning in them themselves. I'm going to add a little bit of carrot here and you want this to cook out as well. I'm going to add some peach chutney to that. Probably about two tablespoons to the, to the tomato. This is just going to sweeten it up a little bit. So we're going to add some fresh tomato in the end. But what you're wanting to do is Reduce everything down, get those the onions and the carrots cooking down nicely. Start making a nice thick tomato sauce. Okay, that's been cooking for a 
about 10 minutes now. All of those flavors are coming together now. The tomatoes have reduced down nicely and you've got a nice consistency there. Now as we're going to add the linguine into that and you just want to swirl it around get all the sauce in between the pasta really starting to come together nicely now just make sure you don't overcook your pasta in the beginning it stays a little bit al dente because it's going to carry on cooking now in this sauce and this is going to just coat it really nicely and at this stage what you want to do is just add a really little bit of very very finely chopped rosemary It's going to really pick this dish up nicely. Bring that Italian flavor into it. It's looking really amazing. And we're going to just add some fresh tomato on the top. A bit of red onion. Sprig of rosemary and some coriander for effect. Finish it with a fresh bit of lime presentation and a little drizzle of lemon juice. Just make sure you get the seeds out, they're very bitter. So let's see what this is all about. A nice little bit of linguine with some alicroc. It's absolutely stunning. Really, really good.